Yo, what's up? My name is Rich. Welcome back to another video. In this video right here, we've made some previous videos in the past where we talk about like fonts that make sales, some popular fonts and news for your t-shirt design and stuff like that. So we're going to do something a little similar and we're also going to practice around on becoming a better designer. So the first font we're going to hop into is Glamour Absolute. I know you've probably already seen it because as of now, the, the exactly how I made and uh, designed and printed this t-shirt video is now the number one uh, most popular video on the channel so much love to y'all for watching it so this is glamour absolute the reason why this font is cool because it has all those different ligatures pretty much like the the points on all right so this one right here is a good example it's the points on the t the g the h um the r is pretty much just binding it to make it look a little tighter a lot more nice and it just adds an absolute nice touch because then you can't even tell that um it's a font sometimes because some letters may just look different for example let's see this e right here is different than this e up here so that just makes it more unique because sometimes when it's the same font you got the same exact letter and you're like uh it's obvious a font i mean it's obvious it's a font here but it's still a little different now although this was the the font that uh i showed an example in the past there are other ones as well that's going to be as nice so sometimes if you see a popular font like this one right here has been similar to one that's been used on a lot of brands lately but this one right here is called margin and this one is pretty dope as well has a, has the same features and whatnot um but it's just a little different right and whenever you use a font that's uh already popular you can find something that's similar to it that way you're even more unique because obviously this type of font has been popular but this one right here just is it's a lot more unique look at the g's right here two totally different g's but it's just pretty dope so we might even download this one and play with this one and a lot of you all always ask me which license to purchase so you can click on right here and it says what are these and just the desktop license itself is good enough because it says this license font can appear in unlimited commercial and personal projects including but not limited to physical end products so physical end products meaning like a t-shirt and whatnot so you can have it in unlimited commercial and personal product projects commercial meaning paid so i'm gonna go ahead and use that one so now i'm gonna go ahead and open up a blank canvas on uh this is photoshop right here let me go ahead and open up illustrator because most of the designs you're going to want to do will be in illustrator because illustrator is a vector based uh program that way whenever you resize things you can resize it in whatever size you need it to be and it's never going to lose its quality so i went ahead and made my document 12 by 16 12 by 16 is a pretty common t-shirt print size if you don't know what size you want your print to be actually take out a ruler in real life not on the computer and measure the dimensions of the shirt let's say if you want it like a square right here you know you measure six inches or four inches wide however size whatever size you want it to be but we're also working in illustrator so it doesn't matter what size it is we can always convert it to the size that you want it to be at a later time all right so when it comes to becoming a better designer um i'm not the greatest designer in the world i can come up with a, a few things here and there from scratch but honestly and it, it sucks to even say this but um i don't know if y'all hear the rain too excuse that it's raining outside but when i first started off i really just started off by copying designs that i did like and then uh pretty much using it as a guide to create my own designs there's this quote out here that's like uh what is it good artists copy but great artists steal or something don't steal but it, this is just an idea of how I pretty much got started into doing design and eventually you can find your own way to become a designer so if you suck at designing this is probably going to be an ideal way to start um, it's gonna look shady it's gonna really look shady all right so check it out I'm just gonna grab this t-shirt right here I found this on PacSun I thought it was pretty cool it's raining pretty loud outside and I'm starting to talk louder I don't know how loud it is but anyways here's the design um has some cool butterflies i like the color i pretty much like everything um but i'm gonna use my own font we could even use a similar font i probably have it too so i'm gonna even start off by typing in obey so this might be a college font i'm gonna head on over to all right collegiate black and then i'm gonna make this about 10 inches right so that already looks fairly similar then we need to click on this right here make envelope we're gonna create a little bit of an art gonna be about 50 percent ah, that's a little too much usually i like to do around 15 so let's try 15 that's a little better and 
Should we go ahead and play with the colors? I'm not too sure. Let me go ahead and move this a little bit out of the way. Hit our layers. I'm gonna go ahead and make a nice little dark green background. All right, so maybe I shouldn't have added the art just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it, start over. Let's type in obey again. Uh, make this around 10 inches. This is a tool that I use a lot. It's the transform tool. That way I can just type in the actual dimensions that I want the size of the actual text to be. So that helps out a lot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move this right here. Let's go ahead and make this white. But even though I think the text in the image looks more like a cream or so. I'm also gonna add a stroke. And I think that's about orange. Yep, it's probably not as thick. Let's make it a little thicker. Eight points, looks pretty good. All right, so that looks pretty good so far. The green in the background is a little too light. All right, so that looks a little better. Now what I need is some butterflies. I'm gonna head on over to, so this is the part where it really starts to look like it's your own thing, right? So they have butterflies. We don't even necessarily have to have butterflies, right? We can have any type of objects. We can just lay it out in a similar way and then we can move things around to make it look like, uh, you know, a completely new design. So even right here, we can go ahead and start typing something else or changing the font but just even have a color palette to, to look at helps out a lot. And while we're talking about color palettes, let me show you a little trick. All right, excuse the interruption real quick, but I gotta give a big shout out to our sponsor for this video, which is Zyro. Now check it out. Zyro is a website builder that lets anyone create amazing websites and launch professional online stores with no coding or web design skills. Don't forget to use my code Hustle Ninjas to be a part of Zyro's limited time deal. Get an exclusive discount plus a custom domain and three months free with any yearly plan. So if you're learning how to design and outside of the apparel space itself of Ecom, although you can do Ecom with Zyro, you can easily make a portfolio with all your design work. What's awesome about Zyro is that it's easy to use and it's very very affordable it's literally the most affordable option on the market i mean just look how easy it is to drag and drop things their websites and online stores load extremely fast be sure to use my discount hustle ninjas and grab zyro's deal for a limited time only get an exclusive discount plus three months free and a free domain for a year with any yearly plan the best part about it is that zyro's website plans have a 30-day money-back guarantee so make sure you check out zyro all right, so I appreciate you for taking the time to check out our sponsor. Back to the video. So this right here is a color scheme designer. This is called Palette Paletton. Um, so check it out. You know, if I want it to be, let's head on over to like the dark green color that we had. We had something like that. It's probably something around this color right here, but check it out. This is the monochromatic color scheme. So it's just showing us different sets of green, but right here, we're gonna click on over here. It's gonna be the adjacent colors. So these are colors that's like right next to green, right? And we have multiple different sets of colors close to green, that looks pretty dope. And then right here we have the triad. So this is going to be, you know, some pretty nice little mixture of colors. Green with purple looks good, and then green with this little color over here. And then over here we have the tetrad. Um, am I pronouncing that correctly? Who knows? But, you know, it looks pretty cool, right? And we can always move it around still even get more color ideas and as we move it they'll give us a whole new palette so that's just a cool little hack for uh having nice color schemes if you if you're not too good at that because i'm not all right so like i said we're at the point where we can pretty much make the design our own i said we was going to go ahead and start doing that but let me show you let's go ahead and try to replicate it as much as possible then i'll show you where we can start making it our own so i'm going to use Let's head on over to Vexels maybe. There's a few butterflies on here, not too many. I think this might be a good one. Um, this one's like a whole design. That one's kind of interesting. We could do something like growth and then that'll be a whole different kind of idea. Um, that one's pretty decent. Let's go ahead and down download that one, I believe. All right, so I got my butterflies pulled up. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and copy all of them over just so I can see what it looks like. Yep, there we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and scale that down. Bring it on over here. Now, we're just going to grab the ones that kind of has the same uh, body style. I don't know if that's the word you want to use. But I'm going to select this one. Bring it over here. 
check it out lay it right there I'm gonna get this yellow one put the yellow one right here then we're gonna grab one more guess we'll grab this pink one so check it out now we have a design that's somewhat similar to the design that we started off with and you know it's not original not original at all because you know this isn't something we created but it helped us get an idea of how to lay things out right so now we can go ahead and pretty much use the thought of overlaying different objects onto text and coming up with our own color palette to create our own type of design so I'm gonna go ahead and go back and delete these butterflies and now I'm gonna change this font to the one that we had downloaded so I believe it was called margin uh, they have margin italic and they also have the regular margin alright so check that out uh, let's go ahead and change the text I think one shirt I had on the website was growth is underrated is that how you underrated? I don't know, but that's a long word. All right, so I mean, it looks okay, right? Or we can just put growth, or maybe like shine. I don't know. We can pretty much do anything, right? I was gonna put growth, and then I was gonna use those butterflies and how it started from the beginning and ended up as a butterfly. But I don't want to have to use butterflies again. So let's go ahead and put shine. That way, we can just use a whole different object. But check this out. You see how the end is like that and it connects onto the eye? Makes it pretty interesting, right? But what you can also do since we're on Adobe Illustrator is we can head on over to Object at the top. Excuse me, it's not Object, it's Type. And then we're going to open up the glyphs. Alright, so now that I have this glyphs open, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it either, but check it out. Now we have all the letters that it provides and we can just double click it and it will give it to us. See how we have two different types of L's. We have the original L and then we have one that's a glyph or one that has a ligature on it. Looks a little more cool. Um, let's see if we can find like an alternate letter E. See here's an alternate letter E right here. We can use that if we want it. There's an alternate letter S. We can use that for shine. So that's the typical S that we have. And now we're going to use something like that one. And then we can also just uh, select the letter and it'll show it to us right here. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and use this for now. I can honestly play with it for a long time. Now we're going to think about objects that, that go with shine. So I'm going to head back on over to Vex Vexels. I'm um, going to go head on over to the search. Let's type in uh, diamond. Okay, here we go. This one might work. So I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to download this one. All right, so I'm going to delete this background. But see, I, I'm, I'm already getting new ideas. I like this cream color. So I might want to do like a cream color t-shirt and then I like the blue. I just like this whole color scheme going on right here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete our original image now. I'm going to bring this on over. And now let's just go ahead and make this background the same color. And now I'm going to take the, now I'm going to take like a yellow diamond over here, pull it on over. They're the same pretty much idea, right? We could do something like that. See? I mean, it's not perfect, right? Um, but this is just an idea of how to pretty much get going and pretty much create your own type of original art quote-unquote original although the original one that we looked at was this one right here now it pretty much looks nothing like it right it's a whole different color scheme whole different objects different kinds of text and it's just completely different but from there we pretty much had an idea of what to start with so that's just pretty much how I typically start off my designs is you got to do a little bit of research and get some ideas and to even get started but from right here we can transition it um, forward to whatever we want it to be so you know we could keep on playing with this or we can pretty much put a pen in it right here and let it be like that I do think I like the larger font this font that we just purchased um, isn't actually the greatest right so um, a previous set I've showed before is this college set it's also from creative market I believe it's called like a sports bundle or something like that this bundle right here has been always pretty dope for me man um, I just like the whole set of it. It has uh, this set right here, Emperor, 
you know, I can't speak. Um, Damer Slab, Fanatics. It pretty much just has multiple sets of text that I like. So Shine looks kind of similar to the one we had, we had before. Fanatics is actually probably even closer to, you know, the one that Obey had. So there's Shine. Um, let's put like something corny. Get your Shine on, super corny. But you know, from here we have even more text and then we can have even more diamonds to play with. Uh, we can add even more diamonds on top of it. You know, it's just a pretty much a simple way to create uh, a quick little t-shirt that's, that's not too complicated and it's not too simple. All right, so let's go ahead and start over. Uh, try something else. I'm just gonna go ahead and go around, grab some other t-shirt ideas that I like. Let's see, something like this is simple. Something like this is pretty cool. All right, so now we got two totally different designs, two totally different shirts that could probably even be front and back. All right, so this one right here, the font actually looks similar to a font that's really popular called Bodoni. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Yep, um, it should be Bodoni Condensed. All right, so instead of typing Adidas, we're going to go ahead and start typing something different. All right, so that looks fairly similar. It might not be Bodoni Condensed, but let's see here. Okay. That's fairly close, right? So I got ninjas right here. It says original sports brand. Let's go ahead and switch it up. Let's go ahead and put a not so original brand. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make it all caps right here. Let's go ahead and make it about 10 inches. So as you can see, what's the odds of somebody knowing that I got this actual template from uh, Adidas, right? But obviously it's just, it's a pretty simple setup. You know, you got a large text up top, something small at the bottom. Obviously, Adidas didn't create this style neither. Um, they just had slapped their text on there. Um, it's pretty obvious that they didn't come up with this, right? But it's really about just having the correct layout and pretty much <laughs> slapping your own logo on there sometimes. I don't know. That, that's the improper way to say it. I, I don't know how else to say it. At the end of the day, it's not really who d who does it first, it's who does it best. And that's kind of a case of how it can be. Um, but I'm just gonna head on over to Photoshop real quick too. I'm gonna make a quick little mock-up, right? All right, so we pretty much have that portion. And then um, we're gonna head back on over to Illustrator. I'm probably still gonna use this same font right here for, I like how that text is down there, ninjas. All right, so I'm gonna head on over it right here. Gonna make this small. I'm gonna move that there. And then now all I gotta do is find some kind of picture. I think something like a rose would still be cool and then like maybe like a samurai sword if I could find something like that. Um, obviously I'm not drawing it from scratch. I'm using Vexels to get my actual uh, designs out. All right, so obviously it doesn't look as good as the original, right? But we got something going, I suppose. We can go ahead and bring the sword in, see if that adds any type of touch. I feel like it might not, but you just never know sometimes. Nah, that sword is not hitting. But we got a little bit of something. I think we could change like these little uh, sparkling things to like maybe ninja stars or something. I don't know. I feel like I need to transition to Photoshop just to get an idea of like actual color t-shirts right so i'm gonna head back on over to photoshop
All right, so this is what I came up with. I'm gonna have to rewind it a few steps back. This is the perfect example of uh, knowing when to hit save. Um, yeah, or turn on auto save because as you saw, something I accidentally exited out, I didn't save it, and I was starting to add a diamond, and I was gonna put um, ninjas not so original, but we shine. I was gonna put but we shine underneath, but so I was gonna put like a diamond right here. But obviously, we lost some of the, the previous design because I had exit out. The flower was a little bit smaller, and then I did add some of the uh, the ninja stars on this front portion and then right here I was also going to I was going to add the diamond and see what it looked like if we did something like this on the previous design that I accidentally exited out of but you know stuff happens so as you can see it's not the greatest it still needs some work it still needs some touching up but I pretty much started off with this design right here this obey design and now honestly it, not, it looks nothing like it and you know our design isn't as great just yet it still needs some touching up um, the flower and the diamond need some touching up the stars on the side need some touching up but as you can see just from trying to imitate something helps you become a better designer because then you understand placement you understand layers you understand you know what makes something look good or not and I hope you learned something from this video. So pretty much just go ahead and get an idea of things that you like. Go inside your closet, look at all the apparel designs that you have in there, all the graphic tees and whatnot, and see why did you purchase it in the first place. There had to have been something that evoked you to, to purchase that design. And try to create it because whenever you create it, you're practicing and you become a better designer. And let's say you create three different t-shirt designs, just replicate it. All of a sudden you took those three uh, replications and then you merged it into one new design and then you pretty much create something that over time pretty much becomes original and then you find you find your style in that so i hope you enjoyed this video uh comment like subscribe let me know if you learned something because if you did and if you're watching this far along if you learned something please comment down below because i need to know that way i know if i should post more videos like this so comment like subscribe and see you next time